Demanding for good roads by the public seems to have become quite popular these days and many people are willing to demonstrate to get the attention of the authorities. Amongst the numerous demonstrations was the one over the Ayimen Santu Amrahia Road in which the Medina Member of Parliament Francis Xavier Susu participated. Mr. Susu was subsequently charged by the Ghana Police Service for unlawfully blocking portions of the public road as well as the destruction of public property. But the Rules Minister Kwesia Mwakwata says demonstrations cannot influence government's plans to fix bad roads. He added that demonstrations must be done in accordance to the laws of the country. We are sure to complete 6,000 uh, 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 kilometers of roads between now and 2024. But we have programmed 11,000. The, the remaining 5,000 will be at various levels of, of completion. No, we have programmed to, to build at least up to 20 kilometers of uh, 20 inter. 20 number interchanges, you know, by 2024, oh, 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 okay? And bridges, you know, we, we have programmed to build 120 bridges, you know, between now and 2024. This road activity, has it ever happened in this country? Has anybody ever seen it before? And, and is it reasonable for anybody to say that all roads everywhere should be built simultaneously? So this demonstration should stop. And at times you get people who are supposed to know better. You know, people who are well educated. Eh? People who should who, who should advise, you know, their their colleagues. Even joining demonstrations. Demonstrations don't build roads. Mr. Makwata together with his entourage inspected works on the 31.7 kilometer Kwafo Krum to Apeja stretch in the eastern region which forms part of the Accra Kumase dualization project. He urged the contractors on the project to expedite work and open the stretch to the public before the Christmas festive period. I have charged the contractors, China Water, to make sure that they fully complete that stretch of the road, you know, covering a distance of 31 kilometers by the close of the year. You know, I have asked them to introduce uh, uh, night work okay to compensate for any delay any uh, uh, shortfall that might have been experienced in the co construction and the contractors have assured me that as much as practicable they will do that and i'm hoping you know that directive will be kept by the contractors and we are going to follow up closely the Rose Minister also indicated that works would continue on the deplorable Pokwase to Insawam Junction Road soon. I must say that the contractor has a valid contract. There is an existing valid contract on this road between Ofankor and Insawam. I have directed the contractor that he should work on the field part of the road. You know, if you travel on, on, on it, you know, a number of spots have failed. So he is to do sectional repairs and patch the potholes since uh, the entire road is under his care, uh, at least to render motorists, you know, uninterrupted and smooth driving surface. And the contractor has agreed to repair, you know, the damage parts. You know, uh, pending the full mobilization of this equipment to do the entire stretch.